I'm getting so overweight. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm Dantavius, how you doing? And it's way too hot for me to be wearing this sweatshirt. Today we're doing an iceberg video on the infamous and dubious YouTube creator, Nikocado Avocado. Now, if you don't already know, an iceberg is a way to sort information from most known to least known, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, if you've been on the internet for longer than a day, chances are you've seen Nikocado Avocado. He's like Thanos, man. He's inevitable. Like, you've probably seen one of his weird thumbnails or a clip of him freaking out or something like that. Now, as we all know, Nikocado is mostly known for doing mukbangs and eating massive quantities of food. So, in honor of that, I went and picked up some Popeyes. You know, I didn't have to do this. I just wanted an excuse to eat Popeyes, to be honest. As I was saying, I've been consuming a lot of its content recently for the purposes of doing research for this video. And I have to say, the more I look into him, the more confused I get. Like, I'm more confused about him now than I was at the beginning. You'll see what I'm talking about. Before we get into this iceberg, let's do a little backstory on Nikocado Avocado. Long story short, he used to be a skinny little twink vlogger, and now he's a big fat guy who does mukbangs while crying and soiling himself. That's pretty much all you need to know. Oh, and I almost forgot, shout out to Reddit user DogXD, however the heck you pronounce that, for making this chart. If you want to follow along with me as I'm going, there's a link in the description. Now let's go! Method acting. Now, we all know that Nikocado is infamous on YouTube for not only slowly eating himself to death, but also for his weird antics and behavior. Now, it's been speculated by many people, including myself, that this is just all an act. That he's not just some mentally deranged fat schmuck, but he's actually a diabolical genius playing a role. But hey, don't take it from me. Take it from the man himself. He's admitted it multiple times. I have really gotten into health and diets for a while. Again, you would never know based on what I do now. I really do what I do for money. That's really it. Money and viewers. I'm actually very educated, guys. I know this train wreck on YouTube. It's all on purpose, you know. I'm an actor, okay? I went to ask, acting school for four years. Like, I, I, it's different, okay? I'm actual, I'm actually a person strategizing what I do. I'm not actually stupid. I play the role of stupid because it sells, but <clears throat> anyways, it's honest hour. <laughs> this man is truly a modern day Leonardo DiCaprio. No, better, fat fetishism. This shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but the internet is full of degenerates. One such group of degenerates calls themselves feeders or gainers. According to the r slash gainers subreddit, there are men or women who are sexually attracted to or fetishize the idea or physical act of growing bigger, fatter, or rounder. And you know, I know people always say you shouldn't kink shame, but I'm of the opinion that you absolutely should kink shame. Shame on you, gainers. In addition to gainers, there's also stuffers, bloaters, feeders, who in addition to getting turned on by people gaining weight, they also enjoy watching people eat. Now, let's put all this together. What does Nikocado Avocado do in all of his videos? He eats massive quantities of food and he gains weight. I mean, the guy is clearly trying to get as fat as possible. Look at some of these videos. I'm 300 pounds. Baby, congratulations. You're eating an unhealthy amount. You wouldn't eat that much in a normal sitting, would oh, you? Oh, no. No, no, no. Why are you doing it that amount of food? Because it's a great excuse to get fat. He also did an interview with Keemstar and Leafy on the subject of gaining weight, where he said his goal was to get on the show My 600 Pound Life. This is a pattern that's going on with you and, and the mutbangs and you gaining weight. If we look to the future, we're going to start hitting that 400. Uh, you know, pounds. And what's the point? I'll be on TLC with my own special. That's the goal. Oh, I've no. already talked. I've you? already talked to people. I'm trying to work it out. My team is pitching different stories. No, you'll see. 
it's gonna be great. Now you would think this guy would be some kind of icon in the feeder community, but I actually read a post from the sub I mentioned earlier, and it looks like not even they're into it. But hey, I'm sure there's somebody whacking off to this. OnlyFans. It's a well-known fact that Nick has an OnlyFans account. Not only that, but he's in the top 0.14%, okay? That's not the top 1%. Top. 1%. That's the top 0.1%. Now, I have to admit, I'm pretty curious to see what's on here. And for the limited time offer of 10% off, I couldn't pass it up. So let's see what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, what? This, this was not meant to see by human eyes. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What am I doing, man? What am, what am I doing with my life? I think it's safe to say I'm not gonna get too in depth on his OnlyFans. If you wanna deep dive on what's on there, go watch one of the thousands of other videos on YouTube about this topic. But I would suggest not looking into it at all and just move on with your life with whatever sanity you have left. YouTube revivalist. Now, the phrasing of that is a little bit weird, but I think the guy who made this is referring to the fact that Nikakato revived his YouTube channel by doing these disgusting mukbangs. He went from being a soft-spoken, thin guy to... Mm. Most of you already know this, but in the early stages of Nikakato's YouTube career, he was eating a raw vegan diet. But due to the toxicity of the vegan community, as well as a decline in his mental and physical health, which he attributed to the diet, he decided to give up veganism. So he started eating a normal diet, but as we know, it uh, eventually went off the rails. And well, people on the internet love a train wreck and this train wreck is what revitalized his career as a YouTuber. Actually Ukrainian. This is referring to the fact that Nikakata was adopted as a baby from Ukraine. Actually bipolar. Bipolar disorder is characterized by extreme mood swings that range from depression to manic episodes. Now from watching his content, it's easy to see why people would think he's bipolar, but he stated himself that he's not. Well, I didn't test positive for bipolar or personality disorder or anything, but I got, they say I have ADD and OCD. But hey man, I took one semester of psychology in college, and I'm gonna go ahead and diagnose him right now. Nikocado Avocado, you are officially bipolar, has diabetes. You'd be surprised to know that Mr. Avocado actually does not have diabetes. I know, shocking, right? He actually has hypoglycemia, also known as Paul Blart Malcock disease. We all have our crosses to bear, sweetheart. Mine is named hypoglycemia. Water weight is real. A reoccurring gag used by Nikakato is that his massive girth is due to water weight. See how much I sweat? That's water for all you idiots and bimbo boneheads out there that think that it's somehow fat. You've gained about 50 pounds from when we first saw you on YouTube, maybe a little bit more, right? Well, of water, but go ahead. It's just water weight. <laughs> no. Now, the two interpretations of this phrase. One is that he's actually delusional and thinks it is water weight despite eating massive quantities of junk food. And the second is that he's just having a goof, which I think is the most likely. Aside from those two ideas, there's also a third theory, a lesser known theory that states the water weight is real. Now, I personally believe in the third theory because if I don't believe in it, then I have to admit to myself that my fatness is not water weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and believe it. Doesn't actually love cheese. If you are an avid Nikocado watcher, then you know that this man loves his cheese. In fact, he loves it so much that he frequently sings about it. I love cheese. <sighs> I love cheese. We love cheese. Yes, we do. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. I love cheese. <laughs> There's even a compilation video on YouTube detailing this man's infatuation with cheese. But if this theory is to believe. Huh? What? We love cheese. But if this theory is to believe. Stupid. In today's video, phrases and words that make you look like an idiot. But if this theory is to believed, then he doesn't actually love cheese at all, and it's just part of the character that Nikocado created. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's the basis for this claim? Well, 
There, there is none, honestly. I don't I don't even know what it is, man. I'm just reading shit off a list. IBS case study. I'm gonna be honest, when I was first going through this list, I spent a long time trying to figure out what this was referring to. Like, I didn't even have the slightest guess. But after a few hours of reflecting on the toilet, I think I know what it means now. So, Nico has been known to shit his pants a little bit, you know? No hate, because it happens to all of us. But this man has had, like, multiple compilations of him soiling himself. He even sold himself on Trisha Paytas's couch, man. Well, I'm sitting on this couch. It's a pink couch. Brand new, mind you. And she told me it was custom made, which now makes me feel even worse. I thought I had to like loosen, you know, relax the digestive tract and just go beep, little, little toot. Well, I felt liquid come out, liquid, liquid. And as soon as that happened, she's walking back in the room and he's there, I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to get off this couch. These incidents are clear signs of IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. I, I think. I have no idea, honestly. I didn't really look up anything about this, but let, let's fucking move on, man. I don't want to think about this guy shitting himself anymore. Secretly dating Hungry Fat Chick. Candy Godiva, better known as Hungry Fat Chick, is a YouTuber and model. Do yourself a favor, do not look up her Instagram, do not make the same mistake as me. Anyways, she's a frequent collaborator of Mr. Avocado and they have quite a few videos together. Now, it's been speculated by some that the two are in some sort of secret romance, but they've both denied it. Now, this one isn't completely far-fetched because Nikocado has dated women in the past. Today's a very special video because I'm here with my ex-girlfriend. What, what grade were we in when we had our, like, thing? You? Fourth? Fourth grade. Fourth. fourth into fifth grade, yeah. Are we talking about the thing in the bushes or the other? Bro, this guy was pulling in fourth grade? I didn't even know what women were in fourth grade. Holy moly. He wasn't adopted. Now, we touched on the fact that Nikocado was adopted from the Ukraine as a child. But according to one theory, he wasn't adopted at all. He just made the whole thing up as a part of his character. And the real Nicholas Perry is actually from Wisconsin. Purposely destroying the mukbang community. Now, I'm gonna be honest here for a second. I don't get mukbangs, man. I think they're weird. I think people who watch them are weird. Uh, I don't, I don't like, I, I hate them, okay? I think they're the worst things to ever come out of Asia, and that's including every virus, uh, rice gum, and hentai. Anyways, according to this theory, Nikocado also hates mukbangs. In fact, he hates them so much that he's willing to infiltrate the community and destroy it from the inside at the cost of his own health. He's like an obese Manchurian candidate. It's really quite genius if you think about it. He comes up with this elaborate character, starts doing disgusting mukbang videos while pooping his pants, and now people associate mukbangs with some fat white dude shitting his pants. Honestly, it's uh, completely genius and I support it 100%. Fat suit. I guess for some people it's hard to believe that somebody gained this much weight that fast for, for views. Now, I'm pretty sure he's not wearing a fat suit because his face is also fat, so either he wears full prosthetic expensive ass makeup or he's just naturally rotund. Fast food lobbyists. So companies are known for doing covert ad campaigns and the best ad campaigns are the ones that you don't even know are advertising to you. For example, the movie Castaway starring Tom Hanks was just an elaborate ad for FedEx. Now it's believed by some people that a conglomerate of fast food chains came together and devised the plan to sell more fast food by creating this Nikocado avocado character who eats copious amounts of food and does all sorts of crazy stuff to bring more attention to fast food. Now this cannot be true because who watches a Nikocado avocado video and says to themselves after, man, I could really go for some Long John Silvers right now, okay, nobody. If anything, watching his videos will make you less likely to eat anything for a few days. Jasper is the father. For this entry, I'm gonna play you a clip for context. Some five months pregnant. Jasper was the daddy, but now apparently I'm the baby daddy. You are not the baby daddy. You're not the baby daddy. Jasper's the baby daddy. Now, let's break this down. What does this mean? Seriously, what does this mean? I have no clue. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Brain shrinking theory. Nikocado has stated in multiple videos that his diet of fast food is shrinking his brain. Is this reality or is this the food? Who is talking to you right now? Is it me or is it the food? I can feel the Cheesecake Factory making me evil. If you have too much of something that's not good for you, you're gonna, it's gonna affect your mind. Now, is there any validity to this theory? Well, a YouTuber named Kiana Daugherty, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, actually did a video on this topic, and it's a very good video. I would highly recommend checking it out. But the short answer is yes. 
Yes, it's possible. In fact, it's definitely happening. His mukbang diet consists of massive quantities of foods that have been shown to interfere with essential blood flow to the brain, slow communication between brain cells, and even attack the fragile brain through aggressive molecules called free radicals. Scientists have found that an unhealthy lifestyle, especially one sustained over a period of time, can result in similar brain changes that mimic the brain deterioration and shrinkage that we see in dementia and Alzheimer's. There's strong evidence that people's unhealthy eating habits and lack of exercise puts them at a serious risk of developing significant declines in brain function such as dementia and brain shrinkage. His channel is a PSYOP. First things first, what the heck is a PSYOP? Well, a PSYOP, or psychological operation, is an action carried out by the military or intelligence agencies designed to influence the perceptions and attitudes of individuals, groups, and foreign governments. And that's ripped straight from Urban Dictionary, baby. The purpose of psychological operations is to induce or reinforce behavior favorable to a nation's objectives. They can also be used to distract people from certain topics or issues. Now, how does Nikocado Avocado fit into all this? Well, open your eyes, sheeple. It's right there, it's right in front of you. People are obsessed with this man. They spend all day watching his videos and do nothing else. His mental and physical decline is impossible to turn away from, and he has thousands of hours of content to keep people occupied. I mean, look at me. You know how much time I spent researching for this video while watching this guy's videos? You know how much time people are wasting watching this dude's hour-long mukbangs? just to find like a little nugget of, of like a like a sound bite? Now think about it for a second. Isn't it kind of odd that he started gaining a bunch of attention while we're on the verge of a financial collapse? It's right in front of us, man. The vaccine, COVID, these nuts, th th they're all connected. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Let's move on. Nick and Orlin's real sexuality. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this is hinting at the fact that Nikocado and Orlin aren't actually gay, but they're just best friends pulling off the most epic troll in history. There's multiple videos of them engaging in coitus, so if this is a bit, they're really committed to it. Anyways, I just got some disgusting images in my head, so let's move on. Visit Florida rep. So after being banished from Colombia for working with the cartels, Nick moved to Orlando, Florida, where he still resides to this day. Is it possible that he works for Visit Florida, aka Florida's official tourism agency? No, probably not. Like, he barely mentions that he lives in Florida, and what about this man's content is gonna make me wanna go to Florida? Dead body in one thumbnail. Okay, now, again, I could not find this thumbnail anywhere, so I had to resort again to using the dark web. And after hours of searching, I finally found something. Okay, you see that there on the right side? That's a body wrapped in a trash bag. I don't know why that's there, but I'm guessing they ate this guy. You thought there was some crazy stuff on this iceberg so far? <laughs> you haven't seen anything, bro. You're about to hear some of the craziest shit you'll ever hear in your life, alright? It was all baby stuff until now. These next two layers, absolute insanity. Let's go. Orlin is Mudahar. Okay, I know this one sounds ridiculous, but just bear with me. Here's a picture of Mudahar, and here's a picture of Orlin Home. You're telling me that's not the same person? Like, come on, bro. I think I just proved my point. Amalgamation of Sin. Now, this one was hard to decipher, but my interpretation of this is that Nikocado Avocado is the human embodiment of gluttony, which as we know is one of the seven deadly sins. I don't think this needs any more explanation. Orlin is a figment of our imaginations. <laughs> no, that's impossible. The guy has his own channel. I'll search it up right now. Okay, that's a little bit weird, but probably just a coincidence. I mean, YouTube has errors like this all the time. I mean, I showed you guys multiple videos of them together. I mean, wh wh what's going on? Do he doesn't exist. Do, do I even exist? <laughs> Last MK Ultra experiment. For those who don't know, MK Ultra was a secret program ran by the CIA in the 1950s. The main objective of this program was to figure out if it was possible to control people's minds using different substances such as LSD as well as other techniques. Now most of the details of this program are obviously classified, but I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that they were using fast food as one of the experiments. 
Don't, uh, don't fact check me on that though. Now you're probably thinking, Nick is too young to have been part of MKUltra, and you have a point. MKUltra ended in 1973, officially, okay? That's just what's on the books. But you can't trust that shit. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but hear me out. Nikocado Avocado was the last MK Ultra experiment. When he was arrested by the Colombian government in 2017, he made a deal with the CIA to get extradited into the US and avoid prison time. In exchange, he volunteered to be a part of MK Ultra. I mean, that explains everything. That explains how he went from being a soft-spoken vegan to a gluttonous mess of a man. The last Hyperborean. So in Greek mythology, Hyperborea was a land in the North Pole inhabited by an advanced civilization that mysteriously disappeared. It's kind of like Atlantis, but in the North Pole. What does this have to do with Nikocado Avocado? I don't know. AI generated videos. Okay, so we've talked a lot about all the possible scenarios behind Nico's transformation, but I think this one is possibly the craziest. Nikocado Avocado isn't even real. He's just an AI, and all of his videos are generated by AI. Think about it. Have you ever seen Nikocado not on screen? Has anyone you know ever seen him? Exactly. Now we've seen stuff like this before. Remember Timmy Thick, the dude with the voluptuous ass cheeks? Well, it turns out that Timmy Thick was just a Harvard experiment. What was the purpose of that experiment? Who knows? But I don't think it's too far of a stretch to say that Nikocado was also some kind of social experiment. Who knows, man? Who knows what these people are up to? All right, we've done it, man. We reached the final layer and I commend you guys for sticking around this far. I know it hasn't been easy, but we've approached the final layer. There's only one entry here. And that entry is the secret mukbang. So Nikocado Avocado had a parrot named Mr. Noodles who appeared in a lot of his videos. But one day Mr. Noodles stopped appearing in his videos abruptly. Now nobody knows what happened to this parrot, but it's been speculated by some that he ate the parrot. And not only did he eat it, but he filmed a mukbang of him eating Mr. Noodles. Now, I tried finding this elusive video, but so far no luck. I even tried checking the darker web, and there was nothing there. Just when I was about to give up hope, I got this strange email from an unknown person claiming he has the video. Now, I was freaking out a little bit when I saw this, but I had to do my due diligence and at least check it out. I'm gonna share a clip of it with you guys. But I warn you, this is very disturbing. If you're easily grossed out, I would go ahead and skip ahead about 10 seconds. <laughs> Classic. Classic. You know what's crazy? When I first started doing this iceberg, like when I was on the first two layers, I was convinced this was all just an elaborate troll. And I mostly still believe that. But the lower I went and the more I looked into this guy, I'm not sure. The more I watch, the less sure I become. I think that's called the Nikocado effect. Now, regardless of what you think of the man, one thing is for sure, he is a marketing genius. It's a shame it's at the cost of his health, but hey, who knows, maybe he has a plan. Maybe it is a fat suit. Maybe this is AI, man. You never fucking know what the world we're living in, man. Shit's crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You'd be helping me out tremendously, especially now that I have no job, bro. This is like my only income now. Oh, and if you're not already, consider following me on other social media. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitch, I'm on TikTok, even MySpace, all right? All links are in the description. Thank you guys so much. Later. Thank you.